So open your hands and let your students fly away. Don't worry about them. They'll do well. Parece haber heredado el arte de unir los contrarios. Patangi Rangachari hace que lo aparentemente incompatible suene a melodía. Enseñar medicina y poesía, farmacología y teatro, toxicología con literatura. Most of my courses blend sciences and the humanities. I teach a course called Matters of Taste. And so one of the things is we're looking at taste receptors and biochemistry of taste, but we're also looking at cooking and cooking books and recipes and, and how cooking plays out in different cultures. Y en ese arte de nunca llegar a destinos por caminos rectos está la aparición de la medicina y la farmacología en su vida. And I had absolutely no interest in science. I was really wanted to be a historian. And then what happened was that I had to do a paper on English history of the 17th century and I read a book which talked about the development of science and I realized that science was not as boring as my teachers made it out to be, that it actually was quite interesting. And I like to describe myself as a pharmaco-evangelist. I think that not all of us can go to medical school, not all of us can become doctors, but every one of us is a patient, or can be a patient. So my big dream is to have pharmacology taught at schools. Tampoco quería ser profesor. Y hoy, sin intención de jubilarse, es uno de los máximos representantes del aprendizaje basado en problemas en la Universidad de McMaster, cuna de una nueva forma de enseñar medicina. The most important message I can give to students in science is that you're always going to be wrong. Sooner or later somebody's going to say the way you did an experiment was wrong, the facts you found are wrong, and somebody's always going to do it much better. So being able to accept the fact that you're going to be wrong is a, is a key element in becoming a scientist. En el aprendizaje basado en problemas, el profesor no imparte conocimiento. Facilita que los alumnos puedan aprender mientras trabajan juntos, discuten, comparan y revisan. The most important thing is to allow students to, to be engaged. Internet has changed the dimensions of learning. So what am I going to teach them? All I can teach them is to be critical, to find sources of information, analyze them properly, and keep an extremely open mind. Siempre se usa un problema como punto de partida para adquirir e integrar nuevos conocimientos. Pero Patango y Rangachari da un paso más. The biggest danger in the world is that people think they have the answer to something. When they feel that they have the answer to something, then they, somebody suffers really because you inflict that answer on somebody else and you impose that answer on somebody else and that becomes a problem. So the only way to think about it is there are lots of questions and sometimes the answers are right, most often the answers are wrong. So as long as students realize that, I think they'll be better off. Y en esa forma de enseñanza, ¿cómo poder evaluar a los alumnos los conocimientos adquiridos? So I tell them, convince me that the way you want to be evaluated is novel enough and that you've actually learned something. Students should be able to think that 20, 30, 40 years from now you'll jump out of bed every morning and say, it's a wonderful world and there's so many new things to learn and I wish to God I have more time to learn. Patangi Rangachari, el profesor que nunca pensó en enseñar, lleva más de tres décadas revolucionando las aulas. Alejado de la filosofía de impartir e imponer, situando al alumno como centro de todo. Su consejo para los profesores no podía ser otro que este. No cause any harm to your students and let them learn.